Many things in this journey um, through the last uh, 13 years have blown my mind um, and there's more to come. But grasping the fact that people were involved in human sacrifice ceremonies and stuff back in the ancient world, okay, get my head around that. The fact even that some really kind of um, imbalanced people could be doing it today, yep, get my head around that. What I really hit me was the scale at which this goes on and some of the most famous people on this planet are involved in it. And Satanism, just a, a, a word for um, human sacrifice and other uh, uh, deeply dark um, rituals, child abuse, like the stuff that comes to light in children's homes, which is the tip of a massive iceberg, and mind control, where they create uh, mind-controlled zombies to carry out things like assassinations to hide the fact that it's really behind them, are all fundamentally um, connected. Um, these guys are into some very dark, dark stuff. And when you realise, I'll say this, what they're into, it is no longer a problem understanding how these guys can send the troops in to slaughter thousands of people and have no emotional empathy with the suffering whatsoever, so much so, okay, that's done, now who next? Because what they're doing all the time, they do not have ability to empathise with the people who they are, uh, are their victims. Now this is a, a place, a notorious place in America for those that have investigated this elite connection to um, satanic rituals and what have you called Bohemian Grove. It's 75 miles north of San Francisco and it's in 2,700 acres of redwood forest. Go down there, eventually you get to it. Um, and every year in July, the elite of America, we're talking the Kissingers and the Rockefellers and the Bushes and all these people that control the media and the banking and the transnational corporations, they um, arrive at Bohemian Grove for a summer camp to let the cares of the world drop from their shoulders. Do, do, do. Uh, talking to people as I have, and some people have written books about their experiences, but of course they don't get out there in the mainstream at all, um, what goes on at Bohemian Grove among this elite is utterly, utterly staggering, but not staggering to me any longer. Um, here is a picture taken at Bohemian Grove in 1957. This is a guy called Glenn Seaborg who gave the world plutonium. Nice man, bro. Very helpful. Um, now, Bohemian Grove, 1957. Ooh! Tricky Dicky! Uncle Ron. One's a B-movie actor at the time, getting on and on his horse. And the other one is three years from taking on Kennedy in the 1960 election. Both members of Bohemian Grove, this elite club, both go on, despite their very different backgrounds, to become President of the United States. Why? Because presidents aren't elected, they are selected. Now this was a, a picture taken um, on a long lens um, by a journalist who uh, got into Bohemian Grove some years ago. It's much clearer on the original, going through the computer, it, you know, it kind of clouds it a bit, to say the least. But this is a 40-foot stone frickin' owl. And over here are all the Bohemian Grovers um, observing this opening ritual. Now the real deal, as the people I've talked to um, over the years have told me, goes on in smaller groups of elite in the forest during the rest of the week. But this is the opening ritual called the cremation of care, where they say they're burning their cares away and all that stuff. And over here are all these people in bloody robes carrying out this Babylonian type ceremony. Um, now, <clears throat> the 40 foot stone owl, these are the people who are running our freaking world. These are the people coming on CNN and what have you and BBC and ITN telling us what should happen and what's going to happen. Um, about two years ago, there's a talk show host in America called uh, Alex Jones. And what he did, hey! <laughs> and he, um, he got in there uh, with a camera in a bag uh, during this opening ritual. And 
you know, of course it's in a bag, you know, the, the whole uh, film itself is moving around a bit, although it's very good, but the sound is absolutely impeccable. And this is just one clip from it. And um, what you see, and if you go into a, a website called infowars.com, you get a copy of the whole tape. Um, and what you see on it is, first of all, you have all these people in the robes over here. Here's the bloody owl here. And over here, all these people. Bush, Bush came to this week at Bohemian Grove, President Bush. Um, and what you see eventually, uh, look at these bloody things over here. You, you see a, 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 like a body floated in here. Uh, they say it's an effigy. I'm open to the fact that it was, um, because uh, what I'm told, like I say, is that the real deal goes on in the smaller groups in the forest during the week. But it could have been real, it could not have been real, whatever. Still bizarre. And what they do then is they take the body off and they put it on a slab um, um, here under the owl and they set a fire. Now, what you hear very clearly on this tape, whatever the um, background, is when they set fire to this effigy body, you hear a blood-curdling, bloody scream. Now, one of two things are happening here. Either they're actually doing it to somebody, or they've actually put a blood-curdling scream on the tape to blast out as part of the ritual. Either way, these are the people running our world and deciding to bomb Iraq or Kabul, or anywhere they freaking choose. And six billion people are watching it. We don't have to. And if we didn't, they couldn't. So the symbol of the Bohemian Club, as they call it, is the owl. Now, the owl is significant to the Illuminati going right back to Babylon. This is an original Babylonian uh, depiction of a Babylonian goddess and they are guarded by the owl. How interesting that I should find this on a map of the Congress building in um, Washington. All I've done is drawn a red line around the roads within the complex of the Congress building um, and it's got the Congress in its belly. How appropriate. Now this next one I have done absolutely nothing to. It is just a straight shot from a street directory you can find anywhere in Washington today. An owl with the Congress in its belly standing on a pyramid. Everything is symbolism to these people. Washington is absolutely awash with it. 